dear rectors, dear guests, thank you for inviting me to this year's Danube's Rector Conference in Bratislava. Although I cannot join you in person today, it was important for me to send you a personal video message on this occasion. This year's Danube Rectors Conference is special for two reasons. Firstly, the Danube Rectors Conference celebrates its 35th anniversary in 2018. Founded in 1983 by the rectors of four regional universities, uh, the Danube's Rectors Conference has proven to be an enormous success. Today, almost 70 universities in 15 countries participate in this initiative. This development proves how important cooperation is for the higher education sector in the Danube region. At the same time, it is also a great pleasure for me to see my alma mater, Bratislava Skominius University, hosting this year's conference. Next summer, Skominius University will also celebrate an important anniversary, 100 years since it was founded in its current form on 27th June 1919. But the history of higher education in Bratislava goes back even further. The Universitas Istropolitana, meaning University of the River, Danube, was founded here in the 15th century. Even back then, the university hosted scholars from all over Europe, a tradition that is just as important today. And this is only one example from the long history of higher education along the Danube. I myself uh, was a student of this university not too long ago, and the intellectual impulses that I received between these walls inspire me to the current day. Yet in my day, we could uh, only dream about the opportunities open to young people today. Nowadays, most students spend time abroad as part uh, of the Erasmus program. Aspiring researchers are in constant contact uh, with their peers from all over Europe through participation in international conferences uh, and through online communication. Universities work together to develop new networks and to learn from each other's best uh, practice examples. This has opened up countless new opportunities for everyone involved in higher education. Part of this new reality is also due to the work of the Danube Rectors Conference and its tireless engagement to create bilateral and multilateral contact between universities in the Danube region. As a member of the European Commission, I can only stress how important this work is for the EU as a whole. The problems facing Europe today cannot be solved within national borders. Neither can solutions to regional challenges be dictated from above. Instead, solutions must come from the regions themselves and from the people concerned. For this to happen, we need to invest even more in cooperation and regional development. Cooperation in the academic sector is especially important. Universities are spaces where young people have the possibility to think proactively about the future and where critical thought and innovation flourish. They are vital for the present and future of Europe. To reference the title of this conference, I firmly believe that universities can be centers of regional development. The European Commission is ready to support them in this effort. To this goal, the Commission adopted the EU strategy for the Danube region in 2011. This strategy was jointly developed together with the Danube region countries and stakeholders. It helps us address common challenges together and to create synergies between existing initiatives to promote regional cooperation and development. In addition, 100 billion euro will be made available for research and innovation under the Horizon Europe framework starting as of 2021. Horizon Europe will build on the success of Horizon 2020, and it will be the most ambitious research and innovation program proposed by the Commission to this date. I'm convinced that Horizon Europe will also offer many possibilities for the Danube region and open up the way for new projects and new ideas which aim to bring together regional universities. I can only advise the Danube's Rectors Conference to take full advantage of the different projects and instruments offered by the European Union. Cooperation in the Danube region has developed uh, at an amazing speed over the last 35 years. 
cooperation across countries and disciplines is constantly growing. Let us work together to make sure that it will be even more intense in the future. I wish all of you a productive and inspiring conference uh, and a wonderful time in Bratislava.